Hello, welcome to another episode of Tommy Marston Toy Reviews. In this episode, we review the Green Lantern Movie Masters Rotlop Fan. And you can wash down your General's Fried Chicken with some Colt 45 and the General Lando Calrissian Star Wars figure. First up for previews, we have the Seismic Centurion from Hatbed Toys and Smash Tokyo Toys. This figure measures at 6 inches tall and will be available in June or July. Who are you going to call? The Art Asylum Real Ghostbusters Mini Maids 4-Pack. Coming with Janine, Slimer, Egon Spangler and all his blonde glory, and Ray Stance. Watch out because they're going to zap you. Hey guys, what's up? We're hanging out in front of Ross here. We're going to go in and um, see what they got and hope we find something. Okay, let's see what we found. We found The Rock. Oh yeah. Can you hear what he's saying? There's cooking. Oh my. We got, it's not too bad, $8.99 for a good 12 inches of mm -hmm. Storm Shadow there. More Commando. He's got all kinds of cool weapons. Awesome. Uh, Five ninety nine. This is trouble a, bubble. Yeah, nice trouble bubble there. We got the rock slide. Still an overpriced mole pod. What else we got in here? Jerry. Yeah, we got a polar shark back here. Yeah, some. Um, that's kind of neat. You get five pack of. They actually transform too. Mm-hmm. It's kind of neat. There we go. Oh yeah, look, look at that great detail on the face. <laughs> Amazing. You can beat your horse. Once again, it is contest time brought to you by Tommy Martian Toy Reviews and RadarToys.com. We're giving away not just one, but two Blackest Night action figures to the same person for winning. All you have to do is visit Facebook.com backslash RadarToys and submit up to three photos of your toy collection onto the wall along with a message saying what you love and enjoy about your collection the most. Now the top three entries will be selected by RadarToys.com. Us here at Atomic Martian Toy Reviews will be selecting the winner of the contest. And the winner will receive not only the Yellow Lantern Scarecrow Black as Night figure, but also the Black Lantern Flash figure. All photo entries will be submitted to the RadarToys.com Wall of Fame. There's no purchase necessary and all entries must be submitted by June 8, 2011. Alright, time for reviews. And up first on the docket, we have General Lando Calrissian here from Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Boom. Bang. Sucker. He's here in all his 80s glory, all that sweet malt liquor glory. Mm. <laughs> I could go for some sweet, smooth Colt 45. And you know what goes great with Colt 45? What? The General's Fried Chicken. Oh, yeah. I think it's butt kicking. Anyway, all right, this is the Star Wars Return of the Jedi uh, Collector's Edition uh, Vintage Collection. Land General Lando Calrissian. Now, this is Lando, obviously, from Return of the Jedi, just like I said. And it's based on the 1983 Return of the Jedi Lando figure, which looks absolutely nothing like Lando. I feel um, as though he is as timeless as the Jerry Curl that sits on his head. Yes. I don't think he has a Jerry Curl. I'm going to have to watch Return that looks of the like Jedi a Jerry Curl. So I'm pretty sure his hair is the... combed back. I think this is a terrible picture, and you can't really tell, but... Uh, I think it's good. We'll have, to, we'll have to go looking through the archives <laughs> on this one. Yeah. Maybe. Somebody Wikipedia it. Yeah. You see <laughs> his hairstyles on there. Too lazy. <laughs> Lando's hairstyle. Hairstyles, hairstyles of the stars. <laughs> All right. Well, um, what do you guys think of the the packaging? It's pretty pretty standard it's uh, vintage package. I, I really like these because it's exactly what it is. Very retro, very 80s. Mm -hmm. um, however, I don't like the little yeah. stamped out peg holders Yeah, we've there. complained about that before. Yeah. Said, yeah, it makes it so hard to get them off the shelf. It does. You literally have to pull back. down. Like, yeah. When I was trying to get this guy off the shelf, I like I think like five or six figures hit the floor. Yeah. And I, I didn't do it on purpose. I just 
I was stacking them up, and it's a pain in, in my excitement, I just started doing it on purpose and not clean them just up. Just throwing them on the floor, just, yeah. just to in send a Walmart. message to show your distaste. Just like everyone else that, that buys toys at Walmart, that's what they yeah, do. Yeah, just like all those five year olds. Yep. All right. So the thing I really don't like is that with these vintage waves, like each wave is a mish, is like a hodgepodge. Yeah. Of different, uh, different like movies. I feel like each wave should be one movie. Like one should be a New Hope, Empire. Yeah. Return of the Jedi. Prequels we can skip back over and start with a New Hope again. <laughs> Just a little bit. But like, I hate the hodgepodge of stuff. Yeah. Like all this Revenge of the Sith stuff. And I don't like the fact that the the packaging is like a basically a made up retro package. Yeah. yeah you know, that's, that's yeah. it's like uh, Yeah, it, it makes sense for the stuff like the Return of the Jedi yeah. and Empire and stuff, but it doesn't make sense for the new figures, you know, the packaging doesn't make sense. It's it's like almost um like the Star Wars toys have like an identity crisis. You yeah, know, they yeah. they they want they want to make the new stuff and the Clone Wars stuff and then they want, still want to make classic figures, but they don't Really know about how, old. yeah, yeah. They, they don't really know how to go about it the proper way. Yeah, it's like I'm really sorry you picked like really shitty packaging for Attack of the Clones and for Revenge yeah. of the Sith, but well, it's like yeah, like the Revenge of the Sith figures have Kenner stamped on them, but they, those figures never came out. Uh, Kenner Hasbro. didn't exist when those figures came yeah. out. Yeah, so. it was gone. I, I I personally think they should have just left the retro packaging figures to the retro movies. Yeah. And then if they wanted to release clone trooper stuff, they could have done it some other way. Exactly. You know. So whatever. Whatever it is, what it is. Whatever. I'm not gonna buy them anyway, so they, they don't exist. <laughs> in my, they don't exist in my world anyway, so I don't really care. You really put clone troopers in a GI Joe display, so. <laughs> well, even if, even if I even if I collected Star Wars stuff, I still wouldn't buy that shit anyway. Yeah. So I don't care. But all right, well let's open them up and check them let's out. Unless you have something else to say. Nope. No, no, we're let's good. All right, let's do it. Let's rip it action. open. I'm starting to remember last time we're like, man, we need to stop doing Star Wars stuff because we spurg out on these things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's Star Wars. It's freaking rules. Yeah, we know a lot about Star Wars. So. Okay. Well, he doesn't have too many accessories. He does come <clears throat> with his little Colt 45. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I had to sneak so one more in there. Is that one for the homies? Yeah, that one. <laughs> he does come with a gun. He has a little holster here, and his cape, of course, is made out of cloth. I feel like he should be Valor or something because he's so pimping. It does look yeah. very, very nice. It looks yeah, a little bit fancier silky. than everybody yeah. else's. Yeah, you want to check him out? Yeah, it's kind of odd that he would have such a nice cape when they're in the middle of a war. You know, it's so desperate, and he's like, <laughs> if you're gonna die, you, you he's gotta, around you gotta go out looking good. You know. I feel like they're like rebel troopers with supply Yeah, he looks like he has a T crotch, but it actually swivels out. That's pretty cool. That's really? Yeah. It's tight. <laughs> so yeah, Lando could definitely he could he can go into battle or he can go it's like a night owl in town, you know, he can go yeah. um, go dancing with some ladies and But he always has the gun on in the front pocket. Yeah, that's, well, a, that's a, kind of a weird location for a gun too. Usually What's your down business? here. How are you gonna Yeah, that's what I, I was thinking. Die And also most awkward spot for a gun. Yeah. It is. I think it would be more awkward if it was on his ass or something. <laughs> <laughs> and all that person down. Who's, who's laughing now? Who's laughing now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, I either have like the worst case of hemorrhoids known to man, or I have a, my gun in my back pocket. Oh, God, it hurts so bad. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, this is cool. I dig it. I really like the way they put the cape together, too. Yeah, I do, too. It's like soft, it. and they did the um, silver, well, not silver, but gray little... Uh, Bandy, like rubber band, yeah. Yeah, instead of doing like a piece yeah, of it plastic. actually looks like it. Instead of just looking like a, a stupid cape that they the, the hung around his neck, it actually looks like the cape that he's wearing. You know, the way it, it contorts his body. You know, or yeah. just the way it's shaped. Yeah. They put some stitching in there to kind of give it some form. But as you mentioned earlier, I, I definitely like this articulation. I like this uh, that's, this that's leg articulation really cool. because it looks like if you look at the figure, I didn't even notice it when he was in the pack. Because I thought he just had the generic, yeah, the generic T crotch, you know, where his legs just go up and down. But it actually has Ooh, like a um, yeah, he can do a split. Yeah, he can. He can do a complete split. Hmm. Um, so that's a really cool it's feature what you they know added. About, he was an avid gymnast before the war. Broke out. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> and he kept up with it during the war. That was, hard, <laughs> that was hard to find time to do. Well, he was in Cloud City, you know, he could just. You know what they should do? Crawl underneath Cloud City and the jump clouds, from, waiting for his rainbow. Jump from satellite <laughs> dish to satellite dish. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. How well does the gun stay in his hand? Because it looks like it's kind of crappy. Yeah, kind of crappy. Once I remove the rubber band, it, it's. That's it's what I really hate nothing. now. I get these hands that are like too obviously too big to hold the gun. They're like, yeah. give me that gun. Beep. Well, it's yeah. like the, the Here's my the open hand, is. and they like rubber band a <clears throat> tiny pistol into it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's not gonna. It makes you not want to take the pistol out, the the rubber band off, but I had to move it. I don't know. Yeah, that's one of the things I've like kept some of those rubber bands just. I know. To do oh that yeah, now. yeah. The I, thing is, I, I see the rubber band actually. on there, and I feel like it's not completely out of package till I take the all the rubber bands off. So and then you regret it. Can't hold like... the gun without the rubber band. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like my shadow tracker, I had to like rubber band his uh, bow in his hand. I had to do that to. Um... Shoot! I just dropped the gun. I don't remember who. Oh, it's going back into his pocket now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's where it stays. I can't be trusted with it. I'm gonna lose it. <clears throat> all right, so he wears it off yeah. up front, so we know that he always has it. Yep. He doesn't have to fire his own gun. He lets the, he lets the other troopers do it. That's right. Shoot them! <laughs> mm-hmm. That's right. That's not a trigger finger. That's a pointing finger. They did it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I want there. that malt liquor. <laughs> buy that. Like there's chicken. more than one kind. <laughs> <laughs> buy that. Malt. Buy my fried chicken. It's over there. <laughs> the gender, general Lando Calrissian's fried it's chicken. It's butt chicken. For the ones, the people, the few people that have never seen Undercover Brother, that's the reference, the movie reference that we're making. Is, yeah, uh, get out of the basement. Billy right, D. Williams, Williams uh, General's General. Fried Chicken, yeah. But, um, all right. Well, any final thoughts about this figure? Uh, very cool. Uh, he'd be great for anybody's uh, ROTJ collection. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you're looking for a Lando figure, this one's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Put a cape on and pretend he's a superhero. You can do that too. Or you pretend like he's Dracula. I was kind of like, yeah. man, I like that cape. It's like that. Harlem Knights. I want to steal that's, it for I a mean, uh, Dracula in Brooklyn. What was that? That was Eddie Murphy. Blackula? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harlem Knights. Harlem, Ni- Harlem, Harlem Knights. Knights is not a vampire movie. No, it's not. <laughs> that's, that's Eddie you Murphy. You said yeah. that, and those were both Eddie Murphy movies. I know, that's why, because I thought I was. I know Eddie Murphy was the Matt thinks all Eddie Murphy movies look the same. (laughs) Are they all the same? He does a funny voice, plays more than one character, gets the girl at the end. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Pretend he's in the ladies' man serving drinks. Mm -hmm. There. Yeah, perfect. All right, yeah, I think think Lander's a hit. Yeah, great articulation, cool sculpt. Guys, can you tell me what you get after a night of drinking the Colt 45 liquor? The craps? You wake up next to Rotlop fan. Oh my god. That's what you end up with. I'd rather have the craps. I would too. (laughs) That sweet, smooth liquor leads to this. Ah. This is Rotlop fan from the Movie Masters Green Lantern series. And he looks like a deaf fish. Literally. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. Surprisingly comic accurate. (laughs) Yeah, which is really weird. Um, in the comics, Rotlop Fan is from a race of people that have no, they can't see anything. He's from a sector with absolutely no light. So, the word green has absolutely no meaning to him because he doesn't know what it is. So, they make up a different thing and he becomes like an F-sharp bell. Bellcore. Yeah, because he understands sounds and that's what he picks. So. How is he supposed to defend a galaxy when he doesn't have eyes? He can hear trouble. He can hear it sneaking He's up. He's got on the him. ring. In ring space. Helps him out. He can hear trouble in space. And the size of the ring for? He can make it one of those big, <laughs> you know, those like co- those um, little horns, little horns. ladies. <laughs> yeah, he can just make it one of those and just w- walk around listening. Somebody say something. I, I, I just, I, I, I think, um, I think the Lander Corps would have been better off finding a different uh, species, probably to, uh, <laughs> to a different planet to do that one. With. Yeah, it was Alan Moore. He was looking. For I, so you're, te- you're telling me this dude. Was a Green Lantern before a human was? I don't know. No, I don't know. know. After. Oh, he's after. Okay. I guess once they did the Different humans, they're like, uh, well, well, we're, we're, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel. Well, we're well so in the bar now. <laughs> let's, let's start doing like, yeah. like uh, blind slug guys, you know, <laughs> next. <laughs> blind fish men with yeah. bells on their shirts. Is he a fish man? Is he technically a fish man? I think he kind of looks like a fish man. He kind of looks like a frog almost. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. He looks ugly. I don't know what they're. I, I've seen screenshots of all the other movie master fig- a lot of the other movie master figures that are coming out soon. And what the hell were they thinking? Well, yeah, <laughs> like one. Why are these guys in the? I understand what kind of why they're in the movie because they're like background characters or whatever. Yeah. But why are they making action figures of them? They're all like hideously ugly. Like, the, there's yeah. that one dude with like a huge face and big hands or whatever, and he looks freaking. I forget. I don't know what his name is, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he looks freaking terrible. It's like. Because like, they were like a parallax, it was like fourteen pieces, so you would yeah, have to buy the yeah, but still, collect and connect figure ever fourteen pieces. I'm like, are you kidding me? 
You but, suck. <laughs> but still, why would you want all these horrible looking figures in your collection? Who's going to display these fucking ugly things? I really don't. <laughs> I don't really and the funny thing is, I look at the trailers for the movie, I see the screenshots, they look good. Yeah, yeah really. dude. Eat, well, so I don't know why they made such shitty toys. I don't, <laughs> get, the, I don't get some more design on this stuff. Well, here's the thing, like, uh, look at like, the little ones. Mm-hmm. And like the paint jobs and stuff, they actually look yeah. pretty good. The yeah. figure isn't awesome. But the paint job on it's cool. It makes the costume look sweet. Looks yeah. good. Yeah, I get these things. And I'm like, it looks like really cheap, like metallic. Yeah, green and it looks like there. a leprechaun. Just it, it covers up all the detail too. It, it makes everything yeah. looks like flat and mute. You know, all the colors. It's very kaiju looking. Actually, it's kind of right. weird. Like cool Jack- package though. Yeah. I gotta say that I like the design. It's different than yeah. Like, I like yeah. the packaging. Yeah. Except for the the sideways build parallax. It's thing. supposed yeah. to be over here. Oh, oh, wow. That fell out. Okay. <laughs> So it's got movie up. masters written on the. It has holes on the side, so your uh, rot lob fan can breathe yeah, man. and package. You don't want them to like go stale Apparently or something. Apparently, his Green Lantern ring didn't protect him, so he can hear thing. everything we're saying about him right now. Yeah, he's, he's got lying. such good hearing. Yeah, we're giving him a. Uh, we're leaving him out complex. before you can get him out of the package. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's get him out of the package. Let's get him out of the package so we can bring him out. All right. let's I just don't understand why are you making these ugly figures. I don't. I don't know. Well, I mean, hey, kind of, look at the Hal Jordan figure. I'm like, it doesn't look like Ryan Reynolds. I mean, I get well, it. I don't care whether it looks like Ryan Reynolds or not. It's just don't make something that... If you're going to make action figures, make something that people are like proud to put on their shelf. You know, yeah. not make something that looks like a freaking turd with a Green Lantern logo on the front of it. And yeah. I mean, I, I get why they make the characters. I just don't get why they make them look so bad. I mean, that's the argument. That's right. the thing. But the thing I, is, I, I don't see, I don't see you can make this guy look good, though. That's why I'm, I, I don't... I can't imagine you could make that character look good. At all. Like... It's not possible. The, the character doesn't look good, you know. I think the one. Well, you got to look at the comic. Man. I think the, I like to look at the comic. Yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so he comes with this the connect piece for the uh, parallax, which apparently is just a big ugly yellow mess with a bunch of scary skulls and stuff all over. Yeah, it's very um HR Geeger. Yeah. So and is it Ben? Is Oh, this is cool. It's uh, actually bendable, so you can bend it to hold the oh, pose. That's sweet. Fourteen did, of these, man. Did y'all, did y'all know that the uh, the four horsemen designed this? Really? Yeah, they they designed the um, parallax figure. The figure, or the, the do they do the thing for the movie, or just the figure? No, just the figure. Oh, okay. yeah. That explains why this is kind of neat. Yeah. Like I like the detail, and you can tell they put a lot. I like of the skulls. Too. Yeah, they're really cool. I think that's it's really very cool. rubbery. Uh, I feel like it's not going to be this cool in the movie, though. No, I don't know. All right, let me check this dude out. Yeah, check actually, out. like one, once you set him on the table, and once you kind of get him in his little like frog position or whatever, he actually looks a little bit better. He he doesn't look <laughs> as as horrible as he did in the package, you know. Once you once you kind of get him standing where he needs to go. Well, yeah, looking at the back of the box, I'm like, he looks pretty. Like he looks, he looks okay. Right. So yeah, in package, bad. it's just the the fact that in the package he has such an awkward pose. Yeah, and you can see his like his stomach, which if you have him standing up, you don't really see that as much of it and then the packaging is like to the forefront so you see kind of the weird detail and the weird like yeah. crunchiness you know to it um but then when you when you pose them and you set them down he's it's kind of covered up yeah. so you know it's Doesn't it's very deceiving when you see him out of the package and then in the package that's usually yeah. the exact opposite of how it works usually oh, yeah, yeah usually awesome they look worse the package yeah. and then crap yeah. but this isn't too bad yeah no. One, one thing I'm going to say that I noticed just looking around at it, you know, you can see these little, like, yeah, they I don't put like two that. pieces together. I yeah, I thought I thought at first that was supposed to be poseable, but it's not. Yeah, no, I really don't like that. It's just like looks like it's a like, weird seam to it. Should have yeah. done a better Stuck job. Stuck it on there and glued it on. Yeah, yeah. I don't oh, know yeah. if everyone's like that or maybe just yours, but I like some of the. <clears throat> I guess you can actually see some of the glue in there too. Yeah, like I said, like it wasn't quite glued on. exactly accurate. Kind of reminds me of like an. Like an 80s vinyl toy. Yeah, where all the pieces just kind of haphazardly put together. Yeah, that and the paint job one. Now, here's something I think is really cool about the paint scheme. So, on the outside of the arm, we got the emerald green. Inside, the darker green. I kind of like that. It's kind of neat. Mm-hmm. I like the way it's done. I th- At the same time, it's a catch-22 because I feel like the entire time, every everything I see except for the smaller four-inch figures, it's like they don't want to commit to a color right. color scheme or a costume design. Yeah. They try to blend everything in so much that you can't tell yeah, what's going on. Yeah. And that's like what I was saying earlier with the small figures. That's what I really like about them is they do they commit to it. It looks really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I like Rotlop Fan. I like he he's just like really different looking for your core. I understand why they make all the different alien guys. I just 
I think I'm with you. I wish they were a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Tomar Ray is the Case prime point, example. Really. He's just so skinny and weird looking. And yeah, his face is They give him a bright. beak, but it's, it's black, so it just looks like his Well, they just try, they try to make these guys look way too realistic, which yeah. I understand, you know, from that point. But then again, it's like, I don't I mean, know. I get it, because, like, you wouldn't really... Think about how weird it would look if you see a guy with a fish head, but, like, with a normal human build for his body. It would just be kind of awkward. So I see what they're trying to do, but I think they really went... Like, making him so skinny is just really weird. Yeah. Yeah. I, but, sometimes I think they take they try to take the realism too far, or they I do make too. it they make it yeah. weird for the sake of weird, like that Jehu figure. That was a really good example of weird for the sake of weird. Yeah, or um, who's the the fish head guy that um, oh, that came out in uh, Greenlander Classics Wave Two? Um, um, uh, not Kiloy. Yeah, not yeah. Kiloy. The the movie masters version of him actually looks like a weird like fish. beta fish or something like that. Like, it's really strange. It's like, why couldn't you just give him a human body with a fish head, like in the comics, you know? <laughs> That's too easy, guys. <laughs> That's too easy, apparently. There's no way that would ever exist. It's like, I mean, when you when you go see a comic book movie, you have to suspend belief, you know? You have to accept the fact that everything that's happening in the movie isn't real, you know, isn't going to be real. Yeah. So why do, you, why do they go so far out of the way to make all the other characters and the CGI characters look realistic? To the point where they don't even look like their comic book counterparts, yeah. you know, which it, it, I think is annoying. So, I like that that thing's bendy. Mm-hmm. I like that. I do too. Bendy. I think that's cool. I don't know if I like the end of it. This kind of yeah. like some deep yellow, and then like it's like really muddy kind of. Right? Yeah, it looks like he got like stuck in an oven or something. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he put his head in the long. oven. <laughs> They put like a bunch of skulls coming out everywhere. Too. Yeah, like a lot of. But the detail, you, they lose some detail when it gets down to the end. Thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All in all, I really, I do like Rotlop Fan for the different. You know, he's just really different. I dig that. Mm-hmm. Once you get him in the proper pose, not just some mm-hmm. generic pose. Not just standing up in a package that he would never be like with yeah. big yeah. arms. Again, really yeah, bad idea too. for them because how do you judge what you're going to buy? You have to look at the package. So. Yeah, he looked he looked terrible it's in the package. Not a good idea at all. Yeah. And I love the um, the still um, photos of him when they first when they first released some pictures of these guys. He looked like that and it looked bad. Yeah, really bad. But yeah, you know, once you get him all fours in his like, little frog position, he, he doesn't look too bad. Better. Yeah, and you can get like a three point stance with him sometimes, maybe. Yeah, he's, yeah. Pose him so he's yeah listening with them ears in the yeah. universe, wherever those ears may be. I just I don't understand this character. I, I don't know enough about the Green Lantern to really. To make know. an educated comment here, <laughs> I will say this: I don't care enough about the Green Lantern to even like try to make an educated comment. To learn enough about it to make an educated comment. The articulation is pretty neat on it because it combines yeah, yeah. a lot of those seam and rotator mm-hmm. joints with it. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And he has really thin parts; like his fingers are really thin, but he can stand up on them. Yeah, yeah. It supports his weight. Well, it's flat. Yeah. Well, I like that they incorporated that into the the design of it to make it. Wider at the base of the fingertips to support the weight, but it look it, it fits in with the whole character that way. Yeah. yeah. Well, exactly. The thing is, like you know, he's an alien, so you can get away with cheating on something. Obviously, if it was like how Jordan you had him like standing on two fingers. You wouldn't be able to like widen it out or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. And I tell you, these um, like I was talking about the rotator joints, they do make it real easy if you want to do something like line up the seams on the costume. Oh yeah. And yeah. then have him in a position where his arms out or something, so you don't have to. Mess up the whole look by rotating at the seam or something. Yeah. You just do it down there. That's pretty neat. Mm-hmm. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about these joints. Yeah. I saw they were doing that and I thought, crap in a hat. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. So overall, I, I, I don't mind them. Yeah. yeah once once we got out of the package, I, 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 I don't mind I, I kind of <laughs> I, He kind of warmed up to me. I mean, obviously, he's not going to be a centerpiece for anybody's collection. He's going to be the kind of guy like on the corner of the of your display, you know, just hanging out in the front, you know. Except that one guy who's all about everything Alan Moore ever does. Yeah. <laughs> Run, love fan. He's right there. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, um, overall... What do you guys think of the frog guy? Much better out of package than Definitely. in. Definitely. Pleasant yeah. surprise. Yeah, he looks terrible like that. And again, you know, once you get out of the package, like the things I thought were dumb, like the costume design, actually really pop and look It good. makes sense yeah. once you have him in the right pose. But have him just standing up, floating like he's a dead... 
dead <coughs> dead frog. frog. Like the frog Matt ran over last week. Yeah. Well, his, <laughs> his guts would be out here. <laughs> oh, man, I like this his little pointer. <laughs> his legs would be up here. <laughs> and I would be over here going, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> With a guard hose, like spraying off your guard. Dude. <laughs> this, I don't know. I've seen some pictures of the the parallax figure, and I'm not impressed with it. I think it just looks like a big mess. For well, we got part. a good many more months before we'll see it in entirety in toy form. Pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Next Christmas will be half built. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe by the time like, Green Lantern three comes out, they'll have <laughs> they'll have it out. Have the head done. So all right, cool. All right, all right yeah, we give a uh, Rot Lob, I guess a He's half a thumbs up or something like that, or oh, you three. Cool. A, a thumb three quarters up, I think. That's what I'll give him. You you can go like this, and Matt, I'll be I'll be like this, and Matt will be all the way up. Yeah, he's like a boss DJ. <laughs> yeah, we had some headphones to put on him. His fingers look like they would stick to the records. Play that funky jam, man. <laughs> <laughs> Lando's like, you know what goes good with that jam? Colt forty five. Oh, like, yeah. Colt forty five was like, no, a like, gun, bitch. Bang. <laughs> All right, well, this has been another episode of Atomic Martian Tour Reviews. If you take away one thing from this episode, Lando's got his gat. It's right there. Make sure to check us out on Facebook, YouTube, on our website. Atomic check Martians. Her, yeah, AtomicMartians.com, bitches. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to check out Twitter. Yeah. We're always on Twitter. Well, Jason's always on Twitter. Yeah, I don't really post much. I read a lot, though. Jason I sit there reads and I, a lot of shit on yeah, Twitter. So I stalk you. I, I'm a Twitter stalker. For so most post part. stuff on Twitter so he can read it. Yeah. And then uh, also check out, our, yeah, check out our affiliates and our sponsors like RadarToys.com, T-Shirt Bordello, TenaciousToys.com, Half Bad Toys. Well, they're not an affiliate, but they're... Check out Half Bad Toys anyways. Yeah, they're cool. They're cool Half Bad Toys. Yeah, man. And um, don't forget the RadarToys.com contest. Just submit a picture or two of your of some of your toy collection and you could win some um, Darkest Night figures. Or Blackest Night. Night. You can win some Blackest Night figures. From RadarToys.com. You have Blackest Night Flash or what's the other one? Blackest Night um, Scarecrow. Yeah. Yeah, Blackest Night. Yeah, Sinestro of course, Scarecrow. Yeah. Which uh, we reviewed a couple months ago. And that's a really cool figure, actually. Yeah, super sweet. Yeah, so. so check it out. All right, that's it. That's been episode 27. So peace out. Sucker. 27. 27. West Side. West Side.